Today, we're going to be watching Star Wars Empire Strikes Back. Now, if you're new to the channel and this may be the first video you are watching, I will say right now, this is not a first time reaction to this movie. I have seen this movie. I'm actually a huge Star Wars fan and we are doing a Star Wars rewatch marathon. So I just want to make that super clear right away at the very beginning of this video. So before we begin, I have something to show you guys. So one second, take a guess, take a guess. Boom, it's, you might be wondering, why, why does this look like shit? Um, it's because I built this. And I built it when I was like 13 or 14 or something. I saw like a DIY build your own li Anakin lightsaber. And I was like, that's the coolest thing ever. Theirs looked so good in their video. I was like, dude, I have to try this. I was so inspired to do it. But obviously the guys in the video are like professionals and they know what they're doing and I don't. So mine came out like this, but this does mean a lot to me because there was a lot of good memories behind this. I actually built this with my dad, which was a really fun time. I saw the video and I went to him immediately and I was like, dad, I know what we're doing today. And he's like, what? We're going to build a lightsaber. And he's like, what do you mean? And me being so excited to do it, it was like 7 p.m. when I saw the video and he was like, OK, we could do it this weekend. And I was like, OK, cool. I just couldn't wait to do it. We went to Home Depot and we got all the supplies and we built it. And yeah, I just think it's really cool. So I just want to show you guys that. I'll put this guy right here for the video. So like it's it's not the best quality, but there you go. It's not like the best quality stuff, but like this, I did this so bad, like just glued this on. I cut them out so bad. Yeah, it's not the best quality. And actually I do have a Kyber crystal for it. I was hanging out with this girl who we were hanging out in downtown and she was like, oh my God, let's go to the crystal store. And I was like, okay. And I saw one, I was like, dude, that's a Kyber crystal. I have to get this. So I bought it. Obviously if I put it through, it's just gonna fall out. So I wanna like build this to where it could like just be chilling in here, but you can't even see it. So, so I gotta show you guys one more thing. Now this one I built most recently, like, like January, 2022, I built this one. I cut a little hole out right here. I could put the kyber crystal so you could see it through it, but I never got around to finishing it because I didn't really know how. So. <laughs> and like I bought the tube because I was gonna put like LED lights in it and try and like get one that turns on. Like you put a little doorbell right here and you connect it and you press it and it turns on. I, f I thought it would be pretty cool. And then you could see the kyber crystal in here when it turns on. I bought the clear kyber crystal so it would look like whatever color the LED lights are. And I thought it'd be pretty cool, but I never got around to finishing it. And this one, this, this one's like really simple. It's not like the best. And then I saw like all the replicas you can buy, you know, like the professional made ones that are really nice. And I was like, as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, this could turn into a really cool collection for me. Then I looked into it and I saw how much they are. And then I realized that dream's dead. So yeah, because they're really expensive. <laughs> okay, I'm done yapping about that. So, okay, we have Empire Strikes Back today. Now this is considered one of the greatest movies ever made. Any top 10 movies of all time list, it's guaranteed to be on any list. It is a phenomenal classic. It is probably the best sequel you could ever find to a movie. I will say Terminator 2 is pretty, pretty good too, but I would say Empire Strikes Back is a better sequel, especially to A New Hope. Like, A New Hope already had such a high standard and this movie just tops it. I'm gonna stop yapping. We're just gonna hop right into this movie. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that'll be available on Patreon as well as early access to the next couple Star Wars movies will also be available on Patreon or YouTube membership. So click the join button down below. But anyways, let's get started. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Ah, it never gets old. Dude, it's kind of abrasive how fast, like how that just pops at you, the music and everything. A lot of you guys commented what the experience was like seeing the first movie, A New Hope in theaters and you guys i loved reading all of your guys comments about it and like what your experience was like it's so nice i read every single comment okay i read every single one now when you see when you saw empire strikes back and just the name of that just like empire strikes back were you how how are you feeling then were you just like oh let's go the evil lord darth vader obsessed with finding young skywalker has dispatched thousands of remote probes into the far reaches of space yeah, I've read the opening crawl to every movie like a like a hundred times. So, but like the name of the movie must have got you guys so must have got you guys so pumped because like it's cool to see the heroes win, but it's even better when you know it's more competitive. It's not just a one sided fight. You know, it's like okay, let's see what the empire has now. You know, let's see what they got when the conflict is actually competitive. That's what makes I think that's what creates the best tension because then you just don't know who's gonna win. The ground near here. I want to check it out. It won't take long. Steady. 
Hey! Tauntaun knows. What's the matter? You smell something? Oh. <laughs> Goddamn Wampa. The abominable snowman. <laughs> That, that guy is going right there. Joey! <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't lose your temper. I'll come right back and give you a hand. Look at Chewie. Chewie's such a handyman. So versatile. <laughs> the dog is so adorable. Him with the goggles and everything. He's like a dog, you know? It's adorable. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> well, your highness, guess this is it. That's right. <laughs> don't get all mushy on me. So long, princess. Han! We decided to stay. Well, the bounty hunter we ran into when Lord Mendel changed my mind. Han, we need you. We need? Yes. Mm -hmm. we, well, what oh. about you? I need you. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. You're supposed to know. Come on. You want me to stay because of the way you feel about me? Get to us. You're a natural leader. No. Fredo's gonna leave without giving you a goodbye kiss. Oh. I can arrange that. You can use a good kiss. Get up. Dude, I love the banter between them. It's like they're talking shit, but it's like it's so playful. Now I'm trying to get us out of here, and you pull both of these. Excuse me, sir. Put them back together right now. Might I? What are we doing, Chewie? I'm just kidding. Trying to get you on the commute. I turned it off. I don't want to talk to her. <laughs> well, <laughs> excuse me, sir. Might I? Yes, sir. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> See it. It's possible he came in through the south entrance. It's possible. Why don't you go find out? It's getting dark out here. I like how urgently Han does something, you know, he's like, oh, Luke's not back? Like, it shows he really cares about Luke, you know, and then eventually he goes out there himself. Oh, we'll have to go out on Tom's Tom. Sir, the temperature's mm -hmm. dropping too rapidly. That's right, my friend's out in it. Mm-hmm. See, that's the thing about Han. If he doesn't, if he don't know you like that, doesn't really care. But after what they did in the last movie, they're close. They're cool. They're boys now. It's a ride or die for you. Like I said about A New Hope in the last video, it's been a while since I've actually seen the movies, so... That was actually really cool to see how like how much urgency he had to go and get Luke. Yeah. Come on. Um, very stressful situation, but you have to stay the most calm to do it. Yep. Help. Help. Sucks for that wombo though. <laughs> Dude, when I saw the robot chicken skit of the Wampa after he got his arm cut off, I actually felt so bad for the Wampa. Like, it actually made me sad to see, like, how robot chicken portrayed the Wampa's life after losing his arm. I was like, oh. You'll see. Stupid little short circuit. R2 so worried. He's like, I can't lose my master again. Han went deep into this blizzard by himself. Don't worry about Master Luke. I'm sure he'll be all right. He's quite clever, you know, for a human being. <laughs> for a human. <laughs> Aw. Dude, hearing Chewie's like Aurora and then seeing him all sad like that. Oh. <laughs> We'll go to the Dago Bust. Dago system. Mm -hmm. There you will learn from Yoda. Yoda. The go Jedi Master who instructed me. Kind of uh <laughs> Okay, what were you guys thinking when Obi Wan just appeared right there? You're like, wait, you're like, what the? Are you just like, what the hell? It's like you're just as confused as Luke. You know, you have just as much information as him on this. The movie includes you into the mystery of with with Luke. Uh, <sighs> I thought this I smelled, smelled bad. bad. On the outside. On the outside. <laughs> this is Rogue Two. Mm. Rogue Two. What happened to Rogue One? I'm just kidding. I know. Repeat. I found them. Mm-hmm. To 
activated the energy field. That's a good story. I think you just can't bear to let a gorgeous guy like me out of your sight. <laughs> Dude, Hanzo has rays. <laughs> Half-witted, scruffy-looking nerf herder. Who's scruffy-looking? I will be honest, nerf herder just... That's always, like... I've never been a fan of that word. Like, even as a kid, I was just like, it's that word's just like, ew. Ooh! Mm -hmm. Leia, why'd you do that? They don't know. They don't know. <laughs> it, correct me if I'm wrong, too, but I've always thought that when they were writing this movie, George Lucas has, didn't decide yet. They were brother and sister. That wasn't a thing yet when they were writing this movie. So when that when that happened, technically, they weren't brothers. <laughs> they weren't siblings. But then as they were writing the next movie, he decided that, okay, yeah, they're siblings. That's like the only way you could justify that. <laughs> Even if George Lucas knew from day one they were gonna be brother and sister, no, I'm still going with like he they they didn't know yet. It's the best lead we've had. We have thousands of probe droids searching the galaxy. I want proof, not leads. You found something. Yes, my lord. That's it. Yep. The rebels are there. And you were about to dismiss this lead. It could be smugglers, it could that be. That is the system. And I'm yep. sure Skywalker is with them. General Veers, prepare your men. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wrote. We found them, and you were about to just dismiss it, and you were trying to do it again. That's why he killed your ass. That's why he's going to kill your ass. <laughs> What are you doing? <laughs> Jesus. Take care of yourself, okay? Always. Oh. Be careful. You too. Yep, always. Yeah, Chewie's like, Han, you've never said that to anyone. <laughs> Han definitely feels like a big brother to Luke. The rebels are alerted to our presence. Admiral Ozzel came out of light speed too close to the system. He felt surprised, was mm. wiser, as clumsy nope. as he is stupid. Yep. General. Dumbass. Gave us away. That's why he kills his ass. <laughs> the fleet has moved out of light speed and we're preparing to- Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, little bitch. You have failed me for the last time, Admiral. You aren't the man now, Admiral, mm. yet. Thank you, Lord Vader. Yep. Okay, what's funny is like, in most reaction videos that I watch, to Star Wars, they leave out that part. He gave them away too early. So like, I honestly kind of forgot about that. And most people are like, oh my God, you just killed him for that. It's like, well, yeah, he fucked up pretty badly. Like one, he almost get, he almost dismissed the lead completely. He was going to dismiss the lead completely until Vader was like, nope, that's them. Okay. And then he just gave them away like that. So now the rebels know that they're coming. Like, and like, okay, you don't deserve to like, die for that. But when you're working with Vader and the empire, they don't give a fuck. You, fu you fail that bad, you're done. <laughs> Vader will never tolerate that shit, that incompetence. He could have just fired him, but like, you know, if Vader kept him around, I guess, he would have just fi kept failing him more and more and just made a bigger mistake later on, so. Just like new, Dak. How about you? Right now, I feel like I could take on the whole Empire myself. Hell yeah. <laughs> I know what you mean. I did it. Did R.P. Biggs. It didn't really, like, okay. It showed his death in A New Hope, but like, not really. So that's like R.P. Biggs, and yeah, he's with Dak now. It's with Dakota. <laughs> That's such a good shot. That shot was okay. I know that shot was not added. That was in the original release. Use your harpoons and tow cables. Go for the legs. It might be our only chance of stopping them. Hey, if, if you're Luke's pilot, RIP. Like that. It's two now, Luke. Set your harpoon. Follow me on the next pass. Coming around, world leader. I like the dialogue they have between each other, like how they communicate. It's they're not trying to make the dialogue feel stoic or anything for the sake of the movie. Like, no, that's this one goes there, that one goes there, right? R2, you take good care of Master Luke now, understand? You alright? Why are you still here? <laughs> Wax. What in the? All right, <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Invaders here. They're so close to each other, but so far away. How's this? Would help if I got out and pushed. Captain Turner. <laughs> There's always something wrong with the Falcon. This baby's got a few surprises left in her sweetheart. Mm -hmm. She's not pretty, but she's tough. She's a beautiful ship, though. If you know, you know. They got away. Dude, honestly, I wish it showed Vader actually like kill some rebels. That'd be sick. Not complaining, but that'd be pretty sick, honestly. Like just so you can understand how much better Vader is. Like have him kill some average people. So it's like, oh yeah, it's not even close. I mean, like you already understand that, but it's like, it would just be cool to see. He, I mean, he doesn't like Rogue One, but it's just never enough. We're not gonna regroup with the others. We're going to the Dagobah system. Mm -hmm. Sir, sir, Shut him up or shut him down. Damn, he's whipping that falcon. Think closer. Oh yeah? Watch this. Watch what? <laughs> it was supposed to happen. I noticed earlier the hyperdrive motivator has been damaged. It's impossible to go to light. It's always the hyperdrive. Why is that booster? <laughs> Why is he on the pipe like that? They'd be crazy to follow us, wouldn't they? The possibility of successfully navigating an asteroid field is approximately 3,720 to 1. Never tell me the odds. You're dangerous, Maverick. You're dangerous. <laughs> fucking dangerous, Maverick. <laughs> <laughs> You're dangerous. You're fucking dangerous. I'm not picking up any cities or technology. Massive life form readings, though. That's why Yoda came here. There's no city or any technology or anything. It's for remote. Why the hell would anyone ever come here? Damn, Luke just jumped in that water. <laughs> no hesitation. <laughs> Didn't even like try to get to the land first, just jumped straight in the water. <laughs> Bro, how many of you thought he just died right there? <laughs> mm. Dude, I love R2's ex expressions. It's like something out of a dream or Maybe I'm just going crazy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you pull up to this planet and you're just like, what, what the fuck? Like, you instant regret. You're just like, why am I here? Like, you don't understand the importance of what's about to happen, but like... It's our boy right there. Yes, Admiral. First time you see it, what he looks like, some, what he kind of looks like under the mask. It's just like, what? I want that ship, not excuses. Yes, sir. Wait, how crazy was it to see the back of his head for the first time, too? You're just like, oh shit, that's what he looks like underneath. So then you're like, okay, I get why he's in the suit. Okay, it makes sense. Captain, being held by you isn't quite enough to get me excited. I haven't got time for anything else. The tension just keeps getting greater and greater. Now all I gotta do is find this Yoda. If he even exists. It's a strange place to find a Jedi Master. <laughs> It's almost as if there was a very specific reason why. Something familiar about this place. Mm. I feel like... Mm. Oh. <laughs> like we're being watched. No way, put your weapon. Mm -hmm. I mean you no harm. Oh. Why are you here? Found someone you have, I would say. Mm? <laughs> I'm looking for a great warrior. <laughs> Force not to make one great. <laughs> mm. but, but we can't, so why don't you just not get your ship out? <laughs> hey, get out of this. He's teasing him. <laughs> oh. no. Hey, you could have broken this. I love how you guys just fucking with him right now. It's like the only time you ever see him like this. It's your first impression of him too, technically. We got cool the fuck is this. <laughs> just totally underplays how how great he is. You don't take him seriously at all, and then you realize. Oh mm. Mm. Or I will help you not. Slimy. Mm. My home this is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not looking for a friend. friend. I'm looking for a Jedi, Jedi master. master. Jedi Master? You seek Yoda. You know him? Mm. Take it to him, I will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> his little laugh. He's just testing Luke right now, just testing his patience. I'm just pretending like he's not Yoda, pretending he's not that guy. <laughs> 
Let me help you out there. <laughs> Jesus. I'm only trying to help. You could be a little nicer, though. Mm. Come on, admit it. Sometimes you think I'm all right. Occasionally, maybe. Stoundle. <laughs> I like I the like sound it. of that. Yeah. Stop that. Me too. What are you afraid of? Afraid? You're trembling. I'm not trembling. Oh. You like me because I'm a scoundrel. Mm. There aren't enough scoundrels in your life. Oh. <laughs> Uh, oh shit. Dude, I'm falling for Han too. Holy shit. <laughs> I've isolated the first the part of coupling. Shut the fuck up. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, that was the best res of, of his life. And then see 3 people just come and ruin that moment. Dude, holy shit. That was a way more intense moment than I ever remember it being. Yes, Admiral. What is it? The Emperor commands you to make contact with him. Move the ship out of the asteroid field so that we can send a clear transmission. Anything for the Emperor. <sighs> does, the abs does the most for him. <sighs> what is thy bidding, my master? There is a great, great disturbance, disturbance in, the, in force. the force. I have felt it. Boy is the offspring of Anakin Skywalker. Search your feelings, Lord Vader. You will know it to be true. It's crazy if he's talking about him. The Force is strong with him. Mm -hmm. The son of Skywalker must not become a Jedi. Could be turned. He would become a powerful ally. He will join us or die, Master. That will never happen. You'll never, Luke. <laughs> will never turn to the dark side. Okay, one thing I do like how they redid about this movie was the way the Emperor originally looked. Yeah, that was a great, great thing to redo. It looks so much better in this version than he did in the original. I will say that. Why wish you become Jedi? Mm, well, Mostly because of my father, my father, I guess. Uh, father? Powerful Jedi was he. Let's see. <sighs> Powerful Jedi. Oh, come on. Yep. How could you know my father? You don't even know who I am. I know exactly who you are. What are you doing here? We're wasting our time. Mm. Boy has no patience. He will learn patience. Like his father. Uh, Was I any different when you told me? me? Yoda. Ben, I, I can be a Jedi. Ben, tell him I'm re ready, are you? Such a great scene. For 800 years mm. have I trained Jedi. Must have the deepest commitment, hmm? the most serious mind. Mm hmm. Gotta be about it. This one, a long time have I watched. Looked away to the future, to the horizon. Never his mind on where he was, what he was doing. You are reckless. So was I, if you remember. He is too old. Too old to begin the training. Just finding every reason to not train him. Test him. See if he'll give up. You know, see if he'll give up if you just push him away. I'm not afraid. You will be. be. You will, will be. be. Yeah, you will be soon. And once you realize what we're really dealing with here. Love the courage, though. Love it. It's a bit unchecked as of right now, but, but once you understand. He does come to understand and he's not afraid. He probably is afraid, but he does it anyway because he's brave. Being afraid and doing it anyway is what makes you brave, so. Oh, that was such a great scene though. It's probably one of my favorite scenes in all of Star Wars too. It's like, yeah, Yoda, he's finding like every reason to not train Luke to see if Luke will just give up, you know, see if they all right, fine, I'll go, whatever. But nah, Luke has the determination and the perseverance. He will, he will not give up. Also, Obi-Wan vouching for him does help. <laughs> like, it's not just Yoda testing him. It's probably Yoda also being like, look, we know what happened to his father. Like, you know, Anakin was a bit older, I guess. He was like 10. But you see what happened to him. So let's see how he turned out. You can't make the jug of ice feed in this asteroid field. Watch me. Oh. Sweetheart, we're taking off. Oh. It's the Alaskan bullworm. <laughs> Hell yeah, you have a little backpack. Fear, aggression, the dark mm -hmm. side of the... Fear. It's a big one. Fear of loss. Forever, when it 
Dominate your destiny. Consume you at will. As it did Obi-Wan's apprentice. Vader, is the dark side stronger? No. But Faster. Busier, more seductive. Force for knowledge and defense. No. Never attacked. Yeah. But tell me why I can't. No, speak. no, there is no why. Mm. Nothing more will I teach you today. Oh. You know, I heard a quote once. It was like the faster alone, further together. It's basically the dark versus the light, you know. You'll get there faster, but further in the light. No weapons. You will not need them. Mm, and it's yourself. That's what you'll become if you kill. You'll become the very thing you swore to destroy. You said you would destroy the Sith, not join them. That right there is the moment Luke realized killing is not the is not the way to go about it. Oh, there's Bosk. Because you'll become the very thing you swore to destroy. But I want them alive. Mm -hmm. No disintegration. Yeah, especially you. Honestly, I wish we got to see how like how badass Boba Fett is, like on his own missions. Seeing Boba Fett even in the um the uh, Force Unleashed two cutscenes, he was so sick in those too. The ship no longer appears on our scopes. No ship that small has a cloaking device. Nope, they just outsmarted you. Vader demands an update on the pursuit. Oh, you're dead. I shall assume full responsibility for losing them and apologize to Lord Vader. <sighs> he just accepted that shit because he knows. Damn, that's so tough. And he's not going to throw anyone else under the bus. That's respect. <laughs> we'll never get it out now. So certain are you. Don't doubt yourself. Always with you and cannot be done. Do you not think that I say? <laughs> no. No, no different. different. Only, Only different, different in your mind. mind. Ah, you so must unlearn what you have learned. All right, I'll give it a try. No. Try not. Do. Or do not. Or do not. There is no try. There is no try. It's like, yeah, so many people grow up believing they can't, there's just things they can't do. There's a difference between, between being like realistic, but also just simply having confidence in yourself. But it holds them back from just doing so many things that they could they're easily capable of doing, so you gotta unlearn what you have learned. It's too big. Mm. Size mm. matters not. not. Look at me. For my ally is the force. You must feel the, the force, force around, around you. <laughs> you want the impossible. So pessimistic, Luke. He just doesn't know yet. Yoda's about to put him on, though. Let me just inspire him really quick. Hey, you gotta show him what's possible so then he understands. What's crazy is Yoda is very powerful in the Force, but Luke's potential is is higher than Yoda's too. That's what. That's just what the, he just doesn't understand yet. I don't believe it. That is why you fail. Exactly. Oh. R.I.P. We'll find them. Don't fail me again, Admiral. Uh-oh. Yeah. Turn your head for me, please. You lost them? Uh-oh. I, I can't hold your hand anymore, Vader. A hand I gave you, I might add. No, no, shut up. Uh -oh. I, 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 I gotta put you on hold. Things you will see. Other places. The future. The past. Old friends long gone. Leia. Yeah, that's one thing they don't really like touch on too much is like Anakin and Luke are able to see visions through the force. Like he just said it right there, but they were in pain. It is the future you see. Like they just touched on it right here, obviously, but they don't really emphasize it too hard, though. I feel like I've got to go to them. If you leave now, help them you could. You will destroy all for which they have fought. And it's a tough decision because if he doesn't go then he doesn't want to risk letting them die they've looked out for him so much like especially Han in the beginning of this movie he, Luke feels obligated like he has to go and see them you know and save them one thing that makes this movie so great is just the overall message with Yoda like it's such a great and power it's such a good powerful message anyone can learn from it and, just, and that just shows you Star Wars not isn't just only about oh lightsabers action space battles no it, there's such a deeper message behind everything <laughs> how you doing, you old oh, pirate? And how you doing, Chewbacca? Mm. You still hanging around with this loser? 
Welcome, Leia. Hmm. Oh, Han's getting jealous. All right, all right. Yeah. All right, all right, buddy. <laughs> let's, let's stop there. You know, I really think they nailed Lando's character, too. Your first impression of him is like, yeah, he feels like the type of person that would be a friend of Han. They nailed it. I'm terribly sorry. I, I didn't mean to intrude. No, no, no. Please don't get up. <gasps> oh, no. And Chewie's the only one that noticed and came back for him. Like, oh, C-3PO's not with us. Like, oh, where'd he go? You know? And he finds them, saves them. You must complete the training. Oh, I can't keep the vision out of my head. They're my friends. I gotta help them. You must not go. He cares a lot about his friends. When you will be tempted by the dark side. Remember your failure at the cave. Yoda, I promised to return and finish what I've begun. You have my word. Failed at the cave. Who says you won't fail then? You know, it's like... Luke, I don't want to lose you to the Emperor the way I lost Vader. You won't. If you end your training now, if you choose the quick and easy path, as Vader did, you will become an agent of evil. Never. And sacrifice Han and Leia. If you honor what they fight for, yes. <laughs> Fuck that. Luke, <laughs> don't give in to hate. And I'll return. Mm -hmm. I promise. <sighs> I promise. But dude, you always look at him like, bro, this, fool, this kid's about to fucking die. <laughs> that boy is our last hope. No. No. There is another. There is another. Yeah. Okay, when you guys saw us in theaters, or just for the first time, were you like, what were you thinking after you said there's another? Were you like, what do you mean? Who is it? And you find out next movie. Imagine this movie came out today. Do you know how many fucking theories there would be about this? About that one line right there, like who is the who is the other? But also Luke going anyway and just kind of ties back to Yoda saying, you will be afraid. You know, Luke trying to prove to him, no, I'm not afraid. It doesn't matter. One, I will not let my friends die. I will save them, which is, it's a flaw, but it also makes Luke so great. Like they would never give up on him and he'll never give up on them. It's, it's pretty naive in this situation. You know, Luke's not ready yet. He just doesn't know what he doesn't know yet, but it doesn't matter. He's willing to go anyway. You truly belong here with us among the clouds. <laughs> oh, <haunt. laughs> it's like, that's not going to work. I've just made a deal that'll keep the empire out of here forever. Get the fuck out of here. We would be honored if you, if would, you join would join us. us. I had no choice. They arrived right before you did. Damn. Han, dude, respect to Han. He literally saw his op and immediately started shooting. Wasted no time. But it's Vader, so. Oh, Chewie's like, I can fix him. No one gets left behind. Always oh, heads on backwards. Oh, Jesus. It's contraption. Mm. Ah, that's so shitty. Good job of the hut after I have Skywalker. He's no good to me dead. He will not be permanently damaged. Lord Vader. Still hear him screaming. They must never again leave this city. It was never a condition of our agreement, nor was giving hand to this bounty hunter. Perhaps you think you're being treated unfairly? Yeah, you think so? No, not at all. <laughs> this deal is getting worse all the time. Furthermore, I wish you to wear this dress and bonnet. This was never a condition of our agreement. I have altered the deal. Pray I don't alter it any further. And this deal's getting worse all the time. Here is a unicycle. You will ride it wherever you go. What? I'm not riding the f***ing unicycle. I have altered the deal. Pray I don't alter it any further. This deal is getting worse all the time. Also, you are to wear these clown shoes and refer to yourself as Mary. Oh, f*** you, man. I'm not doing it. I have altered the deal. Pray I don't alter it any further. This deal is very fair, and I'm happy to be a part of it. He knows he can't say shit to Vader. It's like, fuck. He didn't want to do that in the first place. It's just, they just arrived there before, and he was just put in a really bad situation. It's like, if he doesn't do what the Empire Invader says, then he puts everyone in Cloud City at risk, and it's like, he didn't want to fuck over his friends and everything. It's just, like, he had no choice. He never even asked me any Damn. Yeah, it's just malicious. Vader's agreed to turn Leia and Chewie over to me. Over to you. you. will have to stay here, but at least he'll be safe. Yeah, he doesn't want you at all. He's after somebody called uh, Skywalker. Yep, just baiting Luke here. 
And where the bait? Yeah, well, he's on mm -hmm. his way. Empire will compensate you if he dies. Put him in. It's fair. No, 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 I love you. Mm -hmm. I know. Ah, oh, that's such a hard line. <laughs> no, yeah, he improvised that too because originally he was supposed to say, I love you too, but it just didn't feel right. So it's just like, I know, some cocky ass shit. <laughs> Dude, Chewie's in pain. Damn. The princess and the Wookiee to my ship. You said they'd be left in the city under my supervision. I am altering the deed. Pray, Pray I do not alter it further. The robot chicken version of that is so funny. It's like, yeah, Vader has all the leverage. He can alter the deal as much as he wants and can't do anything about it. <laughs> Luke knows it's a trap, like, but he's willing to do it anyway. If you know it's a trap, is it a trap then? Hmm. The force is with you, young Skywalker. <laughs> But you are not a Jedi yet. But you are not a Jedi yet. Ah, oh, such a hard shot. <laughs> Looks ready. Understand, don't we, Chief? He had no choice. Just try it out. I don't. <laughs> but now he's making the right choice, because now he has a choice. But yeah, I get why they're pissed. <laughs> Uh, Slave One such a great ship. I actually have a Lego set up and up there of the of the Slave One. R2, get the fuck out of the way! Learn much, young one. Mm. You'll find I'm full of surprises. Anakin's cockiness. Oh damn! Only your hatred can destroy me. Damn, Yoda taught him well. Yeah, I like how in this fight, you're immediately seeing a lot of the things Yoda taught him. He's moving in a similar way as he was as Yoda, so. All right, now Vader's picking it up a bit. Vader's, he's impressed with Luke, so he's he's picking it up a notch. Cause I mean, obviously he's not trying to kill him, right? Or... I never doubted you for a second. Oh, sure, buddy. <laughs> you gotta love 3PO. I was actually watching another react a reaction video to Star Wars recently by Alex Hefner. Great channel. If you haven't seen his channel, I recommend it. It's pretty good. He calls 3PO Goldman, and like, honestly, I kind of fuck with it. There's been a couple times during this movie I've almost said Goldman, too. Of course I've looked better. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I love him. You know, it, honestly, sometimes it just feels like uh, 3PO is just talking to himself. <laughs> You are beaten. Mm. It is useless to resist. Don't let yourself be destroyed as Obi Wan did. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. He got him in the shoulder. And, yep. And Vader's like, all right, f watch this, kid. Ah! Oh. Mm. Yeah, see, he says Luke right. He says Luke right there. So, oh, wait, I'll just say it later. You have only begun to discover your power, beat your training. Mm. With our combined oh, strength, we can end oh, this, this destructive conflict, conflict and bring oh, order oh. to the galaxy. Oh, I'll never join you. If you only knew you the, the power, power of the dark side, mm. Obi Wan never told you what happened to your father. Your father, who it is? He told me you killed. Mm. I am your father. Uh, and then the music just kicks in right there. True. That's impossible. Mm. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. Oh. You can destroy the Emperor. Mm -hmm. He has foreseen this. Yes. yes. Join me. And together we can rule the, the galaxy as father and son. See, what I love about that so much is like, do you, okay, 
I personally don't think Bader was fucking lying about that. I think together, if Luke would have joined him right here. It is the only way. Mm, oh, <laughs> Bader's reaction cycle. Like, Dude, this motherfucker really just jumped. If Luke would have joined him right there, they would have destroyed the Emperor together. And they would have ended this destructive conflict. Anakin fucking hates the emperor but he's in such a he's in such a position where he can't do anything he can't beat the emperor he's not strong enough in the force anymore after what happened to him the vader uh, the emperor could always just take him down with the with the lightning so he stands literally no chance he's he's literally a robot so if the emperor just electrocutes him he stands no chance and but obviously luke's never gonna believe him in that situation but even if luke was down for that then like what happens afterwards you know it's like do we keep ruling the galaxy like no that's not what luke wants luke wants to just end all of this it's like would vader quit after that that's what it comes down to too but yeah luke got him in the shoulder right there and then he was like He's like, all right, buddy, I'll show you. I'll show you what's going on. <laughs> it cuts his fucking hand off. Fuck. Yep, she can feel it. You don't think that, oh, Leia's force sensitive? No, you just think like, oh, Luke and Luke's telepathic. He can he can communicate with people, you know, and so. But also, he did say Luke like right before he said, I am your father. So I think that's why people get it mixed up. And that's why you probably remember it as it's like, Luke, I am your father. It's funny, actually what's funny is like, I just saw a random YouTube video like a while ago that was like, I am your father, 1980 theater reaction. I'm like, what the hell is this? Like, no, this isn't, I'm like, it was only like 10 seconds. So like I had to watch it. And bro, they dead ass added the Luke in there. The same line of dialogue he says right before. So it's like that little sound, uh, soundtrack whistle that plays as he says Luke was in there too. This video, that video really tried to gaslight everyone to thinking, no, he actually said Luke. You think he did? Then you were told, no, he doesn't. And then that video tried to gaslight you into thinking, no, he said it the entire time. Like, get the kid out of here. All right, sorry. I'll be back. Okay, why did she kiss him right there? <laughs> what the fuck? Like, even if they weren't siblings, that would just be like, that'd be so weird. Or like, you just had all that tension built up with Han just to kiss. Like, what are we doing? Like, is Leia for the team or something, you know? And then they're really gonna hit us in the next movie. Yeah, like, that's their fucking siblings. That they're fucking siblings. Mm. Father. Mm -hmm. Son, come with me. Luke, it is your destiny. Me yet? You don't know how to fix the hyperdrive. Chewbacca can do it. I'm. Chewbacca has done shit this entire movie when it comes to fixing anything. No offense. <laughs> you did it! Yep, see, look how fast he did that in. That's why R2 is the GOAT. Damn. Damn, he's all. Oh, he's hurt. Like, I almost had him. Not to turn him in, but to take him in my side, you know? It's just one, he's his son. Two, he could have had a Sikh. He could have had an apprentice to overthrow the Emperor. Shoot the rendezvous point on Tatooine. Tatooine. Ow. What a fucking beehole. All right. Well, that was Empire Strikes Back. All right. That was Star Wars. The Empire Strikes Back. This movie was two hours and two minutes and it flew by the pacing of it is just insanely good not one wasted scene in this entire movie every scene was super important the twist in this movie was absolutely insane i am your father twist just if you were lucky enough to see this in theaters what was your reaction to that because i can't even imagine how you must have felt after hearing that like, did you, you probably didn't even believe him. You're like, no, there's no way. Like, you're probably just like, Luke, there's no way you believed him. You know, that's what makes this great, too, because you're pretty much, you pretty much have the same perspective as Luke throughout A New Hope in this movie. Like, you know pretty much just as much as Luke does. And it's like, like, what, what do you decide? Like, do you believe Vader in that moment? Because, like, you heard so many things about your father. And to find out your biggest op is your father i do know about the actor david prouse in the suit he said no obi-wan killed your father so that nobody besides mark hamill george lucas and Irvin kershner only knew about that really until the movie actually released and it was a shock to everyone else this twist is so heavily referenced because it's one of the biggest twists in cinema history it's 
it kind of sucks for a lot of reaction videos because yeah it's really hard to not know this twist but the good thing is most people who react to this movie on youtube they don't know the context behind it they only know the line so it still makes for a pretty solid reaction to it like once they understand the context behind everything it's still a pretty shocking reveal regardless so it's still very enjoyable to watch but i honestly think at that point in time vader yes he was plotting to try and kill the emperor he wasn't lying in that moment they don't depict it in the movies but through watching a bunch of like the star wars like lore videos you realize the true relationship between vader and the emperor they they don't like each other vader's just stuck in this position now for the rest of his life he's basically a slave to the emperor he has no other choice if he but if he refuses the emperor could just electrocute his ass and kill him pretty easily it's like even though vader is extremely powerful he still stands no chance against the emperor and so he has to do the emperor's bidding no matter what and and obviously the Emperor told Vader like, he can be turned to us or whatever and it's like yeah that's just the Emperor's plan to get Vader to turn Luke to the dark side so then the Emperor could use Luke to kill Vader and use Luke as his new apprentice basically get a non-handicapped version of, of Vader right there which is perfect that's perfect for the Emperor but Vader also had the same idea to overthrow the Emperor right there so I so I like to believe that Vader wasn't lying in that moment but obviously watching this for the first time you're not gonna have the context of everything and so you're not going to believe Vader in that moment. You know, Vader literally told Luke, if you join me, we can end this destructive conflict, which I believe they would have done together by overthrowing the Emperor. But then it's like, like, OK, yeah, you achieve your goal. But then what? The Empire's still a thing like they, Vader's not going to destroy all of the Empire. He just wants to rule it all. So it's like, yeah, if Luke would have joined them, then the Empire would still be in power and nothing would really be solved. It's just a new villain and everything. So, so Luke was never going to join him. It was just Vader would have trained him up, whatever, and then they would have overthrown the Emperor. To Together. All right, I got quite a bit to say in this outro, but I'm also behind schedule on this, so I just want to get this video out to you guys as fast as I can, so you can at least watch the reaction. And I'm gonna work on the outro a little bit later, so I can collect my thoughts and say exactly what I want to say, how I want to say it. But let me know what you, what you guys think about like long outros. Should I really talk about as much as I can, or just kind of make it keep it short and sweet? Let me know. <laughs>